Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, it looks like AKA to take over Teofimo Lopez is back, or at least back in the news. It's just been reported that he will return to the ring. He's moving up to 140 and he'll be fighting either April or May. But this is the most interesting part. The opponent that he's most likely going to face next. He's not taking a soft touch. His next fight is not going to be an Abney Yildirim or a Macabu type of opponent. His next opponent will most likely be Arnold Barboza. He's undefeated. He's also signed with top rank and he's highly ranked and he has skill. Now, Barboza is not known for having tremendous power or even speed, but he has the fundamentals. He does a pretty good job of setting you up with long punches, jabs, and straights just to set you up with something like a good hook on the inside. Now, some fans are going to believe that this is too dangerous of a fight for Teofimo, especially when it comes to coming off of a loss and his first fight at a higher weight class. But Teofimo's manager, they confirmed that they like this opponent. Matter of fact, Teofimo's own manager, Mick Water, he said that this is the logical opponent. Let me quote. He said, Barboza is the logical opponent. He's highly regarded. He's undefeated. He's also with top rank, and he's a 140-pounder, which is where we're going. Top rank has asked us about fighting Barboza, and we're fine with that. It's a fight that seems to make sense for everybody. We've discussed that name with top rank, end quote. Now, originally, before Teofimo lost to Cambosis and he was talking about not fighting Devin Haney and just moving straight to 140, Bob Aaron was planning on putting him in there, or at least he offered the Jose Pedraza fight. He said that's the fight he wanted to make with Teofimo Lopez. But now that Lopez lost to Cambosis, we're getting the Jose Pedraza versus Jose Ramirez fight. If Teofimo takes this fight, it will definitely be a good look because the Jose Pedraza fight, at least on paper, would have been a much easier fighter. Let's just say an easier fight. He already has a whole lot of miles. He's already been stopped multiple times. And by way of contrast, Barboza, he has the confidence of an undefeated fighter. Undefeated, young, and signed by top rank. Now, Teofimo, he says he's going to be stronger and more comfortable at 140 because he stayed at 135 for so long. But I'm telling you guys right now, the 140-pound division is starting to stack up as one of the deepest divisions in the sport right now. With fighters like Josh Taylor, Regis Progray, Gary Antoine Russell, and not to mention some of the lightweights is gonna be moving to 140. So it'll be interesting to see how Teofimo does at 140. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at South Carolina and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, it, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. 
when you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, South Carolina, to get this done.